What is going on, OG gang? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy, OG Dan, and today we're back at home for spring break, and I'm going to teach you guys how to clean your skateboard bearings. This is the method that I use, and it works great. It's pretty inexpensive and cheap, and it's awesome. Here's everything you need. Obviously, you're gonna need a set of bearings. I have mine right here. These ones, we'll, we're gonna see how well I can get them clean, because as you can see, this one right here looks pretty good, but then this one, this one's a little bit rusted. So about half of them got really rusted because they went through some water and stuff, and the other half seemed to have been not too bad. So we're gonna see how they can be cleaned up. And yeah, so you're gonna need your bearings, obviously a pair of wheels to put the bearings in, whatever. I recommend getting a rag that you won't be afraid of getting dirty, as well as a little bowl of some warm water to dip the rag in. You're going to need some sort of device to clean the bearings. I have this little bottle called Bones Bearing Cleaner. I got it on Amazon for about 10 bucks. You open it and it has a screw that is attached to the cap as well as one of these little washer things and then some of these spacers. The inside of the bottle is just a bottle. And then you're also going to need some sort of lubricant. The lubricant that I use is the Bone Speed Cream. This stuff is really cheap. It's probably like five bucks. It'll last you a really long time. And then finally, you're going to want a bottle of 91% or higher isopropyl alcohol. I always get 91%. Obviously, something higher will probably be better, but it's harder to find in the stores. That's, that's all you're going to need. So what I do to start off is I usually take this rag here and I get it a little damp. I dip it in some water and I just kind of wipe off the wheels. Now, these aren't really specifically the bearings, but the bearings are going to be put inside of these. And, you know, when you have them taken apart, you might as well spend a little time just kind of cleaning them out. Especially this in this inside little hole here. If you have any bearings that are kind of rusted like mine, there might be some rust residue in there. And you can kind of see if you can wipe some of that away. Seems to be working pretty well for mine. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do. Just make sure that your wheels are kind of clean. And then once you have them fairly cleaned and wiped off, set them down somewhere. Let them dry for a little bit because you don't want the bearings getting the water in them. So just leave them off for like 15 minutes and you should be pretty good. So I'm going to go over here and finish wiping down the rest of the wheels and then we'll get to the next step. All right, now that you've got your wheels nice and clean as best as you can, we're going to start working on the bearings. Now you can either get yourself another rag that is dry or for me, I'm just going to grab some paper towels because I don't have another rag nearby. Take your paper towel and take a bearing here and just kind of rub off any dirt that is on the outside of the bearing and the reason you want to do this with something dry is because you don't want to be getting any water inside of the bearing by accident because then you could accidentally rust out the balls of the bearings and then it won't really matter so much because you're not going to get optimal performance out of them as you can see just by rubbing it a little bit we already got considerable amount of dirt just off of one bearing so just do that with all eight of them and we'll get ready for the next step one thing I forgot to mention, once you are done with your bearings and wiping them off, make sure to just, you know, wipe off your little bolts here. And if you have any other little spacers or washers, just quickly give them a rub off. You know, it's not super necessary, but, you know, you might as well if you have them off, right? Okay, and the next step, guys, is to take off the plastic shield on your bearings if you have them. If your bearings don't have the plastic shield, this may not work as well as you'd hope because those bearings typically are not meant to be washed. They're just kind of meant to be used and then thrown away when they're done. But if they do have a shield, definitely be sure to take it off with whatever you can. I think I'm going to go find a knife. So I will be right back. And just like that, I got myself this super tiny knife. We're going to see if it works, but you kind of just want to take the knife, be really careful with it, and kind of pry that little plastic shield off. Now it can be a little tricky to get it off and what worked best for me was taking my knife and putting it in this second ring right here in the middle. So not the outer edge, but kind of the inner edge around it. Trying to put it in there and then prying it out. It seemed to work pretty well for me. I got it off. And then this will be the inside of your bearing. As you can see, there's the little bearing balls in it and you want it to be just like that. If your bearings appear to be slightly rusted like this one here, you can attempt to try to get a little bit of it off by taking a paper towel and then inside of the bearing, just kind of rubbing it in there, seeing if you can get any of the rust off. It may not help too much, but it's better than doing nothing. So I'm gonna go and take off all the cap shields and then we'll start setting up the cleaning area. All right guys, I got everything washed up as good as I can and now we're gonna put it in the kit. Now remember, it doesn't matter what kind of kit you have, I'm using the Bones Bearing Cleaner Kit, but any kit that can kind of prop the bearings up on something similar to this will work. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take one of the spacers that came in it, put it on the thing. Oh, it looks like I made a mistake actually. Take your spacers and do not start with a spacer. Make sure that when you set them on, you have the part of the bearing with the shield that is off facing downwards so that it's like this. So put one on, 
put another spacer on, put your next bearing on, and do that all the way up until they're all on the kit. All right, once you have them all stacked up on your kit just like this, take your little, whatever this thing is called, wing nut, I think, screw it back on so it's nice and tight, and now you have all of your bearings lined up just like this on the cap. Now, take your bottle, take your isopropyl alcohol, open her up. This is a brand new bottle, so I got a quick pull off the seal here. Take your bottle and fill it not, you don't really need too much here. I'll show you how much that I use. All right, on this particular kit, I fill it up about where the words bearing cleaner are, maybe a little bit below that. You can fill it to this line here a little bit above. That's about how much I use. It's not very much, but it's just a little bit. So take your, so take your cap with your bearings, put it inside the kit, screw it on. And for about a minute, just shake it like this. What this is going to do is it's just going to get any dirt that you have on the bearings off. As you can see, the water is going to kind of darken a little bit. And you just want to do this for about a minute just to get any dirt that, you know, your paper towels did not rub off initially. And just so it's kind of cleaning them. This is the easiest way that I found to do it. Just buying one of these kits for like 10 bucks, shaking it up. It gets most of the dirt off and works pretty well. All right, once your minute is up, you're going to want to unscrew this and get a paper towel ready. I'm going to get two kind of half sheets and double fold it, set it right here on the ground. You're going to want to take them out, kind of shake it off a little bit and set them right on the paper towel. I kind of take it and roll, roll the paper towel up onto the bearings like this. Give it a bit of a squeeze so that they kind of dry out and just kind of, just kind of set them there. Now, if we look here at the water, it's actually not too dirty, but sometimes it can be really dirty. Now, what I'm going to do so I'm just gonna take where I have this water. I'm gonna pour it out and dispose of it. And we're gonna clean the bearings one more time because you'll know that the bearings are fully clean when the isopropyl alcohol comes out super clear. So we're just gonna fill it up again about the same, maybe a little bit less this time. Doesn't really matter. One thing I do want to say, if you don't wanna keep buying, you know, bottles and bottles of this, one thing that you can do is once you get some dirty isopropyl alcohol in here after cleaning, you can take it and put it back into the bottle by using a coffee filter and a funnel. If you pour the dirty stuff into a coffee filter and funnel it back into the bottle, it should come out pretty clean and it's a good way to save it. Just for me though, for this particular of time sake, we're gonna throw it away. All right, you guys, and just like that, our minute is up. We're gonna take them out one more time, set them on this paper towel, kind of roll them out on here, get all that excess alcohol stuff off of them. As you can see, there's still a little bit of dirt coming off of them from, I don't know, rust or whatever that's in them. So we're just gonna kind of wipe them and leave them sit here for maybe about a minute and just let the isopropyl alcohol kind of evaporate and dissolve. And then we'll get ready to lubricate them. All right, y'all, it's been about a couple minutes. I think maybe a little more than a minute for me, maybe like three minutes. We're gonna take them off of the thing now. Just kind of pouring them into my hand here. Now they still may be a little bit wet, so what you're gonna wanna do is just take them Kind of tap them out on a paper towel, give them a little wipe, and that should be good enough. Oh, looks like this one's still a little dirt on it, so it's a good thing to wipe them off again. All right, once you got them all wiped off and they're nice and dry, it is time to get your speed cream out. I'm using the bone speed cream, as I mentioned before. You open the cap and it's just got this teeny tiny little nozzle on the top. And all you're gonna wanna do here is take your bearing, take your speed cream, Put a little drop right on this side of it, and then take another drop and put it on the other side of the bearing. Take that, give it a couple of flicks and spins with your finger, let it get in there, shake it around a little bit, and you are pretty good to go. Take your speed cream, do that with the rest of the bearings, and we'll get back for the finishing actions. All right, you guys, and just like that, we are almost done with the bearings. Final thing you wanna do, grab your little, I don't know, grab your little bearing shields and just kind of pop them into place. You kind of just, you kind of just set them on here and give them a little click. You'll feel them snap in. And there you go. You got your bearings all ready and set to go. Snap them all in, pop them back into your skateboard. How I pop them in is I set them on the trunk of my board upside down. I take the wheel and I pop them in by pushing, putting pressure on them. I do it outside on some cement. But after that, you are pretty much done. And that is how you clean your bearings in 2021, the easiest way and the safest way. Now, a quick mention that some people use citrus cleaners and some people use things like acetone and harder chemicals. The reason that I use isopropyl alcohol is because one, it's cheap, two, it's safe, you can get it on your hands and it doesn't matter, and three, it doesn't leave residue behind. 
Citrus cleaners sometimes leave some residues on the bearings, which, I mean, it's fine. Some people don't mind, but other people are more picky about it. And hard things like acetone, while they do work, they can be a little more expensive and they're also a little dangerous. You don't want to be handling it with bare hands and whatnot. So isopropyl alcohol seems to work the best for me, cleans them well enough, and they work great. So that's all I got for today's video, guys. If you really liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting the subscribe button or the like button for me. Trying to grow the channel out here, and it really does help. It's been your boy OG Den. We make videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. So you're not going to want to miss them, so definitely keep on the lookout for that. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Have a good rest of your day, and stay stoked. Keep riding, and be awesome. See y'all.